So earlier today, I put a post on my social media basically saying that I get my wife flowers every single week. And the post did, it got mad engagement and everything. But a guy commented under the post and he said, I'm just curious, Prince Donnell. I know you get your wife flowers every week, but what does she give you, bro? And the, the, the response that I had for him was so, like, it even blew me away that I had to, I got to say this now. I said, there comes a point in life where you understand that life is not about what people give you, but what you give unto them every single day, regardless of reciprocation. And it's not, it's, what makes you happy is seeing them smile and not about what they're going to give you in return. You feel me? Like, that was so deep to me, like, Regardless of what my wife gives me every single day, you know the only person that's accountable for his actions is me. Like, and, and, and I see a lot of, there's a lot of men who struggle with this concept of, I'm not doing anything until my girl do this first. Well, bro, the only person who, who you're only accountable for yourself. You're only accountable for delivering happiness. Like, for me, when my wife, yo, I don't care what she does for me. Yo, I, I, every day, I, you know, every single day, I figure out a way to go out of my way to make her happy. Regardless of if we was having a bad day, regardless of if we, had a, we just had an argument, because none of that matters to me. My only goal is to reciprocate great energy to her as a great husband. And if she's not being a great wife at the time, I would hope that my energy is so good that it's so infectious that it makes her say, I want to change because I can't even be around this dude's face in a negative environment because his his energy is just so like, it's just so great. That's what I aspire to do with everybody though. You know, and I, maybe that's crazy that I do that, I do that but like, you only, you only responsible for yourself, man. And I just want all, all fellas to understand that. Like, yo, deliver, you deliver good, good energy because what you give out is going to come back tenfold in return. You feel me? Like, I'm not, I'm not about, like, it's especially when it comes to a relationship or a marriage, especially me being a, a, a new husband, it's not about doing things in spite. You feel me? To where like, yo, she made me mad, so I'm about to do that in return. You know, like you, 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 you know, you, like you, you know what I'm talking about, right? Somebody does something wrong to you, the first thing you want to do is do it in return because that's the kind of energy you want to do. The, you want to do negative because you felt negative, and in the same in the same instance to where that naturally happens. Imagine what happens when you do positive so somebody that's negative is also going to flip over to the positive side too. That's what I aspire to do in my relationship. That's what I aspire to do in my marriage, yo. I don't care what my wife does. I only care about what's in my heart. And as long as I can sleep at night and say, damn, I did everything I could to be the best husband that I could possibly be to her, regardless of her actions, that's what's going to make me happy. And ultimately, that's what's going to make her happy because she can't ignore the facts. She can't ignore the actions. Love is an action. It's not about what you say. It's not about it's none of that. It's not about the text messages you send. It's about what do you do to go out of your way every single day to make your wife happy, to make your girl happy. What makes her happy, by the way, because I'm not saying that flowers are what makes every woman happy. Some women don't like flowers. Some women might enjoy a nice time at the park. Some women like might be they, they might like purses or shoes. Whatever her fancy may be, Within your budget, you should go out of your way to be able to do that. Within your budget, if that if that's feasible for you, you know, and it's 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 those moments of going out of your way that create that level of love. Cause she's like, damn, this dude always thinking about me. Every woman wants to be thought about, you know, like yo, I'm, this like it's not about. And I tell people, I tell men this, yo, it's not just about, it's not just about providing financially it's not just about being a leader and it's not it's not just about those things it's the small things too that lead up to the bigger thing because you can have as much money as you want but your wife can be unhappy inside of that home because you just literally don't pay attention to the small things about her such as she might have went and got her nails done you didn't compliment her on her nails i pay attention to things like that because at one point i didn't and i realized that it was causing a negative atmosphere. Like, damn, you know, I got my nails done. No, she every, already look. Oh, damn, baby, you got your nails done. Yo, they look good. She going to feel so amazing about herself. Small things. You feel me? Not the big. We always want to, we always want to, as men, we always want to shoot for the big and want to swing for the home run. But we only want to do it every six months. Well, what during that six months, 
what else happened in that relationship of the energy that you that you were delivering as the as the leader as the head? And what were you what were you delivering? Because what, what what happens is the head is what directs the body. So if your head is not delivering great energy on a daily basis, how do you think your wife and kids are going to operate? They only operate based off of based off of your energy when you get out of bed. And if your energy on some other type time and you're not showing love, then what you expect? So it's those small things every single day I want men to work on. Small. That's it. Just keep tweaking it. That's it. Think about what your girl, yo, her nails. You know what I'm saying? Make sure she wear her nails done. Maybe I'll take her out to eat. Get her some flowers. Do this small. And I guarantee you that your entire relationship, your family, everybody around you is going to change. But in order to change the small things, you have to become aware of your surroundings. Be very aware of everything around you. Start watching. Get out of your phone and start looking up at the people that mean something to you in life. Look at your wife and look, like start paying attention to her habits. Start looking at when she goes to the store, what are her sizes? Surprise her back with something. These are all small things that I had to start paying attention to. And I promise you, it made such a huge difference in me and my wife's relationship, man. Huge difference. And if every fella, if every dude that's listening to this adopts that strategy of just being aware and doing the small things, I promise you, they're going to have a happy wife. And as they say, a happy wife equals a happy life.